possible. So uh, let me start by saying I am Wayne Harris, director of the Albemarle Economic Development Commission. Uh, and we are we do thank you for joining us today to celebrate the expansion of Elizabeth City's one of Elizabeth City's favorite aviation companies and certainly one of the most unique uh, that I have ever experienced and I'm sure you have too. Uh, and it's great to have this event uh, in this historic hangar. Um, outside this hangar, uh, you will see very shortly a 40,000 square foot uh, manufacturing facility. Uh, represents a rough doubling of uh, TCOM's workforce. Uh, these are well-paying jobs with, uh, with benefits uh, that, that uh, are kind of indicative of what's happening generally uh, <clears throat> in the aviation industry uh, in our area. Uh, we're also here to celebrate the cooperation of the many groups that, uh, that pulled, uh, made this possible. Um, you might think because we had the hangar it had to be here, but uh, it was not a slam dunk. Uh, the state of Maryland made a very competitive offer for this program uh, that the expansion will involve. Uh, and if, if everybody had not pulled together, and I mean the uh, uh, Department of Commerce, and uh, um, Tim Ivey likes to remain anonymous, but I know he's out there somewhere. And uh, <clears throat> Tim was really the point man on this project. Uh, the county was with us all the way uh, with infrastructure that needed to go in here. and. Um, if the state of North Carolina, thank you, Gene Byrne and Governor Easley had not saw fit to make this a One North Carolina project, we <clears throat> might not be here today. So. Before we hear from Secretary Byrne and from Cha Chairman Sabarino, I'd like to bring you up to date briefly on another project that's just down the road here that's creating good paying jobs with benefits right here in Elizabeth City. Next to the airport, we celebrate DRS Technologies' process of building an 80,000 square foot hangar. That hangar is DRS' second hangar. It will create another 100 good paying jobs. And well before that building is finished, just across the street, we will open a 63 acre um, airport commerce park. And there, in that park, there will be four more hangars as well as a large facility for Elizabeth City State University for their aviation science program. As well as College of the Albemarle will be doing technical training out of that building. That building is necessary so that those good paying jobs that we're creating can be had by our young people. That we can go out and we're going to train our people and put them to work right um, across the street as well as here um, at TCOM. TCOM has been an important member of this community for 30 years. A highly innovative company is at the forefront of tethered aerostat systems, and we are very fortunate to count it among the corporate citizens of our state. Governor Easley, the Department of Commerce, and the General Assembly have worked diligently during the past eight years to diversify our economy so that we are no longer so dependent on textiles, tobacco, and furniture. And to do that, they targeted certain knowledge-based sustainable industries that will provide more and more jobs as we proceed on into the 21st century. Two of the key industries that we target are information technology and aviation. So TCOM obviously fits right into those plans. This is exactly the type of company that we want to recruit and to encourage to expand in our state. That is one of the reasons that the company was granted a $70,000 One North Carolina Fund grant to help ensure that the expansion took place here in Pascatine. Today's worker must be prepared to compete in the global marketplace. And the type of training that TCOM is providing and the investment that they are making in their employees is indeed priceless. TCOM has an excellent corporate reputation in this community and has long been a good citizen of our state. Because of TCOM's commitment to North Carolina, I am pleased to thank them 
for the work that they do and want to wish them much success in years to come. I would like to ask John Savarino and Dave Barlow to come up for a moment, please, while I present them a plate with the great seal of the state of North Carolina on it as a small token of our thanks to Tupac. That is something else. Uh, you know, it's not often that a company uh, gets recognized for what they've done in a particular by the state and where they're housed. And certainly that's something that gives a lot of gratification. And I speak for all the members of our TCOM family. We thank you very much. TCOM has been such a great corporate uh, neighbor and friend of this community for over 35 years. I know I've been coming out here for over 30 years, back when Weston House was in the other building. And they've had, certainly had their ups and downs, but they've always stuck by this community. And we thank you very much for this expansion, and uh, what you're doing for our community. We want you to expand more. We still would like another crack at your corporate headquarters and <laughs> engineering uh, operation to come down here. But uh, to, the, to the city and the county and the uh, Economic Development Commission and everyone else that had a part in this, uh, we certainly say thank you. Uh, uh, I know Senator Bass Knight and I feel very strongly, along with Governor Easley and everyone else over at the Department of Commerce, that we have to be there for uh, industries that expand and locate here in North Carolina. And a lot of times we get criticism for uh, incentives we may have, but we're in a very competitive market with other states and other nations, to be quite frank, and we have to be competitive. We have to provide these benefits on the state level, and I'm glad that uh, I've been a small part of it. It's really great to have a company like you in our region, uh, one of the marketing clusters that we as a region are supporting and working on is the aviation cluster as well. And you embody the sophistication and, and really portray to the world the type of aviation companies that, that we want to have in the future and be a part of us in the future. And we just thank you for sticking with us in North Carolina. Good morning, everyone. You know, I've been sitting here marveling this morning at the airships and aerostats and the sheer scale of the historic facility. It occurred to me that the blimp hangar is a perfect piece of mosaic that is Elizabeth City. I'm told this TCOM facility is truly unique, one of three blimp hangars in the entire country. The boaters who come to enjoy our harbor of hospitality will tell you that our harbor is also unique, unrivaled in its natural beauty, depth and shelter from prevailing winds. The harbor also represents economic opportunity and was the reason for the Elizabeth City's founding in the late 18th century. We have entrepreneurs it attracted to thank for the uniqueness of our architecture and our historic downtown. So thank you, Chairman Savino, General Counsel Martin, CEO Barlow, CEO Kanush for helping assure that Elizabeth City's unique, modern landmark remains economically viable in the 21st century. We very much appreciate your decision to expand here in Pasquotank County. And we appreciate the well-paying jobs, the benefits your presence here represents.